What's going on, everybody? You back rocking with your boy, Sweet Science. You're on the air. Subscribe to the channel. Beat the like button up. Make sure you hit the bell icon for all your post notifications. I got a little subject I'm going to talk about today. Today, we're going to talk about Keith One Time Thurman and Errol Spence Jr. in the landscape of the welterweight division. Um, but I mainly wanted to touch on Keith Thurman and Errol Spence. Um, so as you, you know, some of y'all didn't heard already, I just kind of wanted to elaborate on it more. Um, Keith Thurman has come out and I'm gonna, I was gonna say told, but pretty much said that... Errol Spence Jr. needs to fight him or get about the division. Now, this is a classic case of karma and how being a pompous idiot blows up in your face. Now, if you all remember, when Errol Spence Jr. was working his way up through the, through the ranks, um... You know, he was calling out a lot of the top guys, uh, one of those guys being Keith Thurman. Um, and two of those three guys, out of Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, and Danny Garcia, they made good on their word when they told Errol Spence Jr., hey man, you get a belt and I'll fight you. Um, as Sean Porter fought Errol Spence Jr., great fight, possibly uh, fight of the year, 2019. And um, Danny Garcia's aligned to fight Errol Spence right now. They're in camp as we speak, so Danny Garcia is a man of his word as well. However, Keith Thurman, I believe that he was afraid of losing to Errol Spence and losing the belts that he ended up losing anyway. So instead of losing them to Errol Spence, he just got one stripped from him. And then he lost the other one to Manny Pacquiao. Now granted, more than likely he did get a pretty good paycheck to fight Manny Pacquiao. So um, yeah, the paycheck's gonna be bigger with Manny Pacquiao than Errol Spence, so I guess if you're going to lose your belt, might as well get more money for it. Um, aside from the fact that Pacquiao kind of whooped his ass. But that's neither here nor there. But one of the things that Keith Thurman told Errol Spence continuously was to get a belt. Well, Errol Spence went over to the good old UK. Um, in Kell Brook's backyard and beat the shit out of the guy. Uh, broke his eye socket, which I'm not surprised, um, Kell Brook being a UK fighter. Um, you know, he had one eye socket broken by Gennady Golovkin um, due to Eddie Hearn. And then he got the other eye socket broken by a black American fighter by the name of Errol Spence and his belt taken in his own backyard. So after Errol Spence took um, Kell Brook's belt, he then challenges Keith Thurman, and Keith Thurman pretty much, I believe, uh, that year after Errol got the belt, they asked Keith Thurman, was he going to fight Errol? And, it, and he had to move the goalposts. He had to change his excuse. So instead of saying, uh, get a belt because he can't say that anymore, he just flat out said, not going to happen, baby. You remember that? Y'all remember when Keith said that? Some reporter asked him when he was going to fight Errol Spence or if they were expecting a fight with Errol Spence that year. And Keith Thurman's actual literal response was, not going to happen, baby. And so my, how the tables have turned now that Errol Spence is unified and Keith Thurman has lost all his belts. See, you should have gave Errol Spence the opportunity and the chance when you had the chance. When he was a young, hungry guy coming up, you could have gave him that shot. If you really are the best like you say you are, then you would have came out on top. 
still giving Errol Spence a shot, and there would be no animosity between the two today. However, that's not what you did. You played it like a coward, uh, Keith Thurman, which I believe uh, in that situation you were, or he was, and Errol Spence had to get it out the mud. He had to get it the hard way. And now that he has it the hard way, and Keith Thurman is the odd man out, no fights lined up, no belts, no anything. Nobody even really talks about Keith Thurman anymore. Um, now he's trying to take this bully approach to Errol Spence talking about fight me or get out of the division, but it doesn't work that way. Now, since you didn't give Errol Spence his shot, he's going to make you work for it. You have to get it out the mud now again. So you have to start over and you have to fight all these people and earn your shot with Errol Spence. He's not going to bless you with the opportunity, just like you didn't bless him with the opportunity. So uh, right now, I think Errol Spence definitely is, um, we already know subconsciously, well, not even subconsciously, pretty much we already know that Errol Spence is the king of the 147 pound division. Um, only pieces that stand in his way, um, is going to be obviously Bud Crawford, into which that'll be, a, that'll be an amazing fight. Um, we know Bud's with top rank and Errol's with Al Heyman. Al Heyman and Bob Arum, um, seemingly don't really do too much business together. So we don't know how long it'll take for us to get, uh, Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford. And I believe Manny Pacquiao has the other belt, but, um, I'm almost willing to bet my left testicle that Manny's going to retire and not fight Errol Spence Jr. He'll, I mean, you know, I think he'll fight anyone not named Errol Spence Jr. That's why he showed up at the Errol Spence Jr. Mikey Garcia fight, um, hoping that Mikey Garcia would win that fight, into which that was silly to think that um, if you thought that you don't know shit about boxing. But he expected Mikey Garcia to win that fight, and Mikey Garcia got pummeled. He got his ass beat pillar to post. Um, so you would think that Pacquiao would want to fight the winner of that fight, yet I hear that he's in talks with fighting Mikey Garcia, so he opted to fight the loser of that fight. So that's really weird. So I think he'll fight someone like Mikey Garcia and then retire, you know, but I, I, I highly doubt he's going to fight uh, Errol Spence Jr. So Errol just has to get into position to get those other belts um, and get those other champions to agree to fight him. Because no one still wants to fight Errol Spence Jr. Now, I do see Jerron Boots Ennis coming up. Um, I think he's going to be a future player, future big player. I mean, he kind of is now to a degree. But I definitely think Jerron Boots Ennis is going to be a future big player in the 147-pound division. Um, I would definitely like to see him against the top guys like your Sean Porter's, your Keith Thurman's, your Errol Spence's, your Bud Crawford's. Um, I would definitely like to see him versus the top guys at 147. Um, but right now, man... Um, there's not really any any argument that anyone can really put up for it. And Russell Spence Jr. is the king of the uh, welterweight division. Um, and he's actually one of the faces of boxing um, right now. Um, so, you know, man, I hope we get those fights 2021. Um, as long as the world stays, you know, healthy and we get over this hump. But um, in 2021, we I would love to see Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter run it back. Hell, I'd love to see Keith Thurman and Errol Spence Jr. But he, Keith Thurman has to understand, Errol Spence Jr. doesn't owe you shit. And you didn't help him and look out for him when he was down, so he's not going to do the same for you. Um, I'd love to see Errol Spence Jr. Bud Crawford. I think that's the biggest fight that can be made in boxing right now. Um, Errol Spence Jr. and Bud Crawford. But anyway, um, I kind of just want to give you all an update um, on what I think of the whole situation uh, regarding Keith Thurman. And Errol Spence Jr., you know, um, Keith was the man of the 147-pound division. But now the man, undoubtedly, at that division is Errol Spence Jr., man. So, you know, Keith got to sit back. He got to relax. He got to shut up. He got to grind. He got to go back to the, you better not duck me, thun. He got to go back to that, Keith Thurman. Um, and he got he to gotta earn his shot. He got to earn his shot, man. Um, and until then, again, like I said, Errol Spence Jr. is the king of the welterweight division, hands down. Again. You're rocking with your boy Sweet Science. You're on the air. Subscribe to the channel. Beat the like button up and I'm gone.